Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekha Kodash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, and I'm back with another lesson. Lord willing, it's quick, edifying, straight to the point. And, um, hey, you know, hey, like we said, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh like the Lord said, you know, like the Lord said, he's going to bring judgment, okay, to this, to this rebellious nation called Israel. You know, he's going to bring judgment to the world, period, straight up. You know what I'm saying? And here it is, we are in December 25th, everybody on some Merry Christmas bullshit, you know, Merry Christmas this, Merry Christmas that, you know? Merry Christmas. Well, it ain't so merry. It ain't merry. The Lord is turning the mirth, all right, of this place into mourning. The mirth is being turned to mourning. Okay? The joy of this place is ceasing. And Thawada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, you know, and Thawada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah for the inspiration, you know, to hit the button on this. I was going through some um, video clips and certain news articles, and then the, the Elder Bishop, Manatazak. Um, our big brother out there in Connecticut has sent me um, this article right here, this particular article, and I had seen the video of the actual incident of this man right here being frozen face down on the ground in New York. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it up there, you know, even though it's not really that graphic, but still, you know, for obvious reasons, you saw, you know, looking for any reason to clip a brother's joint, you know what I mean? Clip our pages and all that, whatever. So you can find it yourself. Dude is actually laid out. It looked like a scene from um that movie called 2012. If you remember 2012, was it 2012? Yeah, when when it was um yeah, it was 2012. It was freezing in New York. Yeah, that's a spirit. Um it was it was freezing, ice, a lot of snow and it was people when they was leaving the library that they found refuge in in in, in the movie. If I pose this, if I edit this, I'll show you the clip. But they was leaving the library that they found refuge from the cold and then when they was walking and leaving there was a man lie, lie down. I think he was face down too. But he was covered in snow looking frozen just like this man in that in that particular video. You know, in that particular video. So also too, the, the elder bishop has sent me an um, a, 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 a IG post, an Instagram post, and told me to read the comments. And Lord willing, I'm going to kind of base the lesson off of them comments that these people are pleading for help. You know, they pleading for help. They are pleading for help up, up there in... Um, Upstate New York, Buffalo, you know, the capital state. But anyway, Buffalo man frozen, found frozen on the streets during historic winter storm. And this is him right here. You know, this is the guy right here. You know, Israelite, of course, Jake. You know, no beard on his face. He looked like he go to church and, you know, he looked like he was going to celebrate Christmas today. I'm just, I'm, I'm just calling it like it is. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. You know, pink shirt, look like you go to church. You know, you look, you know, suspect, man, but whatever. You know, the Lord knows what he's doing. And so it says, William Romello Clay was found dead on his 56th birthday after being found frozen. So the Lord don't play. The Lord ain't playing. We, through the spirit of poverty, how about Shemir al we said the Lord was going to bring judgment. Especially during this, this storm, that this little, uh, like they call it a historic storm. You know, that, that just took place. And it's still brick ass out there. Still cold as hell. You know what I mean? You know, so Lord's well, you know, brothers be protected in their travels if needs be. If you're going anywhere, send up them prayers before you leave the house. Ask the Lord to guide you, protect you. Set his angels charge over to protect you. You know, bless your going and coming in. You know what I mean? Because these people don't do that. They don't, they don't do that. They don't, they don't acknowledge you. How about Shemir How Shah? They just go about their way and they just know that they're going to make it to their destination. Well, this man got found frozen. It was, I think it was a bunch of Jakes, younger Jakes that found him, you know? And then guess what? I'm going I'm to read some stuff because even EMT, the, the, the firefighters, the police, first responders, nobody could do nothing because it was that bad. Like they can't travel. They can't travel in that snow and that blizzard. So any cry for help, nobody's coming. They crying for no, not one of them. I bet sent up prayers. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakai Kudash Babakasha. You know, get me out of this situation. I'm stuck in my car. Lord, please have mercy on me. 
Yeah, how about no none of them? I bet you, bro. Call, you know, if they even called on Jesus Christ or whatever, but that's not the name. You know, that's not the name. And guess what? The Lord is gonna bring heavy judgment on his place. And this thing right here, you know, this is this is just one area, one particular, and not not just really, really a lot of places got affected by this storm. You know, a lot of places. Ohio, there was that pile up. Just look at the what was it? The last video? No, not the last. Like the last three videos ago on this page, went into some of the incidents that that took place. You know, so I'm gonna read a little bit of this article, and then I'm gonna go to the comments from the Instagram post and read these people pleading for help, crying for help for, for uh, from Esau, and then I'm gonna get a couple scriptures, and that'll be that. You know, straight to the point. Judgment is coming. You know, pray that Yahweh Bashmi Shai passes over us when he does send that that judgment. You know, and brothers that got affected by this, whether they power went out and, and you know, whatever situation might have happened to them, may the Lord be with them. You know, I'm I know brothers are sending up prayers and asking the Lord to, to deliver them out of these situation as we should. You know. It says the Buffalo man was found frozen to death on his fifty sixth birthday during the historic winter storm which plum which pummeled the region, Christmas Eve, his family said, well, good. To hell with Christmas Eve, man. Everybody told my Merry Christmas. Day. To hell with that, bro. You know? That's why the Lord going to bring judgment. All these people talking about Merry Christmas and worshiping these pagan-ass holidays. They're going to get judged. Because here it is, we telling them, them holidays is off. You worshiping uh, false gods and all of that. They don't want to hear that. They call us the Grinch. They say, oh, it's for the kids. Well, how long is it going to be for the kids? When, when are you going to make things right? When are you going to make things right and, 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 and teach the kids the right way so that they could teach their kids the right way and stop saying this for the kids? It's for your punk ass, man. That's why the Lord judge your ass. You know? Shit. So it says, relatives identify William Clay as the person found laying face down in the snow at Bailey's Ken Kensington Avenue in Erie County. Disturbing video of the frozen body began circulating online after it was discovered early Saturday morning. And that's why I ain't gonna play the video, you know, it's disturbing and you saw going, you know, hell no. I mean, you could look it up. You could look it up. If somehow I could find it and, and, and post it in the, in the comment section, then that'll be that. But if not, just look it up. You'll find it. Man laying, down, laying there face down, frozen. Look like a scene out of a movie. City officials later confirmed that it was the third death in the county during the monster snowstorm. Buffalo police, and that spur is created for vengeance. All right, Sirach 39. Buffalo police have not yet officially released the identity and could not share further details when contacted by the post. Clay's sister Sophie Clay posted on Facebook early Saturday morning that her brother was missing, adding that he regularly, frequently, frequent, excuse me, added that he regularly frequented the nearby 7-eleven you know look at that it's mass a lot of snow it's a lot of snow right there and then plus the weather it was below freezing usually when you got snowstorms i mean the weather it ain't that cold like i mean it'd be cold but it'd be like bearable cold but this one is was way below freezing way below freezing because of that arctic blast that came from up north you know Hours later, she revealed he was found dead and set up a GoFundMe to cover his funeral expenses. I am the sister of the gentleman that lost his life during the 2022 blizzard of 12, 24, 2022. She wrote on a fundraising page, my brother. You know, it's going to get to the point where there's going to be a whole bunch of GoFundMes because people, a whole bunch of people going to be dying and nobody's going to be funding nobody because for one, nobody ain't got the money. And two, everybody's going to be feeling it and suffering. Scripture say they're not going to lament for the dead. Eventually, they're not going to lament for the dead. So, okay, you lost one. So did, so did somebody else. You know, the, the love of many is going to wax cold out here, bro. You know, so anyway, my brother unexpectedly lost his life on his birthday. She added uh, another relative, Laura Lashom, informed friends and family on Facebook that Clay was found frozen after he went to the store. And that's why we told, you know, we made it, I, I know I said it, but like, um, brothers probably said it too, like, yo, get what you got to get, stay your ass inside. I mean, you know, reason to be going out there in a damn blizzard to go to the store and get a, a gallon of milk. You know, I'd be, I'd probably be your last trip to go get a gallon of milk, you know, prepare yourself ahead of time. You know, that's just using, that's just using wisdom and just 
common sense. You know? Lasham said Clay suffered a mental illness and may have not been on his medication, according to Sophie. Clay lived less than a mile away where his body was found. And I'm that's all I'm gonna read on that. If there's any, if there's even any more. You could go check it out for yourself if you're interested in reading it or look up the article for yourself. Alright, so you know, um like I said, um the other Bishop Manatazak, Job Yasharala. I'm gonna link the um bishop's page in this uh um description box of this video right here. And then you could go subscribe to the elder bishops and be constantly edified and fed. So this is um I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna go to the Instagram post. It's the second Ezra chapter six. Hold on one second. Salak you. Second Ezra chapter six. Hold on, why is it not popping up? Bear with me one moment. Let me go to Proverbs. Let me go back. Low one is working. Second Ezra chapter six. Alright. This is second Ezra chapter six and verse eighteen. And it said, Behold, the days come that I would draw, excuse me, I would begin to draw nigh. Alright, I'll begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And when the Lord comes to visit, he's not coming to visit. Like people say, people think Jesus has come back to visit, he's all happy. No. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not happy with this world, the state of the world, the state of things that are going on right now. The Heavenly Father is a jealous power. And so is his son. The Lord is all about death, bro. You know, he's all he's coming. Those that are going to receive life, rece going to receive life, eternal life, you know, and, and be raised up and resurrected. But the more, more people are going to die than those that are going to be saved. And as the scriptures say, the Lord is all about death. He's a perfect balance. And everybody's who everybody who goes and die, you know, especially when it comes to these harsh judgment that take place, you know, is deserved. Like the scriptures say, I'm not sitting up here saying that we're all exempt from being judged absolutely positively not and that's why we fear the lord because we know we're not exempt from judgment which is the which is a reason to fear the lord but these people they don't understand that they don't even care they don't care about the judgment of yahweh bashim yahweh shah they you know because they don't know the lord man they don't know how terrible and powerful the lord is so we fear the lord to the point where we ask the lord to exempt us from that judgment ezekiel 9 and 4 you know or ezekiel the ninth chapter exempt us from that judgment Put a mark on, this, on the men that sign cry for all the abomination that's be done in the midst thereof. And that mark represents uh, exemption from judgment, which in the Hebrew, that word is thawa. All right. So we are praying and asking and begging for the Lord to exempt us from the judgment that he's about to bring on this earth. And these people, they don't do that. That's why when they get judged, it's on them because they ain't even asked for mercy. They, they don't even know who to go to for mercy. Even though we show them who to go to and how. They don't, they don't regard, and I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that in Proverbs. Because Proverbs, the first chapter, is definitely coming to pass. Alright. So again, 2nd Ezra 6 and 18, and it said, Behold, the days come, that I will begin to draw nigh to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and will begin to make inquisi inquisition of them. What they be, what they, excuse me, what they be that have hurt unjustly, with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled, ultimately the Lord is going to fulfill all His judgment, starting with two, starting with Israel, because the Scripture said judgment shall begin at the house of house of the Lord first. Those that know that they're Israelites, and then it's going to spread out, and then eventually all everybody's going to get judged. You know, so judgment judgment is taking place big time. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna read a couple of these comments right here, and this is the post right here. It says Buffalo, New York, Berry. In record-setting snowfall, people are in desperate need of help. People are in desperate need of help. Let me see if I can um, pull this up. I might have to turn the screen long ways. I'm going to turn it long ways and get these comments. So it says, I'm going to start with this, this This guy right here. It says, people is freezing. People is freezing to death. People are freezing to death. And they cause, in their cause, police and fighter, firefighters can't even pick up calls because they all keep getting stuck. Even the National Guard got deployed to help and got stuck. It's bad for us. You see? 
No help. There's no help, man. No help is coming for these Jakes. And I haven't heard it in the news. And that's what the Elder Bishop said too. There's no coverage on this. I think somebody else even said that in the comment section that there's no coverage on that. I ain't hear it on the news. You know, I usually turn on the, on the you know, the mainstream media news in the morning on the, t on the TV, have my black coffee and maca and see what the hell the elites is telling the people. But I ain't seen nothing. They all focused on they, they jolly ass, punk ass Christmas. You know? Pray for Buffalo, pray for this, pray for that. It's mad, it's, there's so much comments, I can't go through it. I'm just going to read the, the, the pinned ones or the highlighted ones. It says, um, this person right here is so, at the top, Rella Rose, is so bad here. Keep finding bodies in the snow. Kids is dying due to freezing. And we have no emergency services available. Look, hashtag desperate. See? Hashtag desperate. And this ain't nothing. And this is a woman. She desperate. How often do you... Come on, bro. Come on. How often do you occupy that? How often do you ever hear women say she's desperate? You don't really hear that coming from women. You know, but she just hashtag desperate. So that pride is... She had to put aside that pride to throw up that hashtag right there. And wait till it get real drastic out here, bro. This ain't shit. This ain't nothing. This is minor judgment. You know, this is minor judgment. You know? I bet you all the, you know, the, the, the rebellious, independent, you know, femme women out there, single mamas, were desperate in that day. Yesterday, the day before, today. You know? Probably no power in the house, cold as all hell. You know, can't make phone calls. No man in there to step up and do what he got to do to fend for the family. They, she got to do it herself. It is what it is. This is what they wanted. And I'm not saying her per se, but I'm just saying the broader spectrum of the Israelite women or the, or the, or the, or the blacks, Latinos, and native women. You know, the ones that have repented and getting their lives in order. The Lord got you. Just remain faithful. The Lord got you. All right. Remain faithful. Humble, silent, you know, and fear the Lord. Okay? So, hey, that's heavy. She said, hashtag desperate. Pray for Buffalo. Man, F, F Buffalo. F America. All right? We praying for the elect, the hopeful elect. And it, Well, we got brothers in Buffalo. All right? Upstate New York. May the Lord have mercy on them brothers. That's what we pray for. The hell with Buffalo, but for the elect. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember, there's a scripture where it says um, Abraham prayed for the Sodomites. He didn't pray for the Sodomites. He prayed for the inhabited. He prayed for Lot, all right, because Lot was living in Sodomite. Um, excuse me, Lot was living in Sodom and Gomorrah, you know. And remember, Abraham, when he was like, if there's one righteous person or was it Abraham was it Lot? It was Lot, I'm sorry. If there's one righteous person or, or Slack it down. I'm butchering it right now. If there's uh, five just people, the Lord was spirit. If there's ten, the Lord was spirit. If there's, but there was none. So the Lord delivered just Lot. You know, um, his his daughters. Okay, his wife, and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighboring cities. But his wife turned back. The scriptures say, "Remember Lot's wife," and turned into a pillar of salt. So the Lord didn't spare Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, and guess what? If, if that place was to bury and burn, the Lord will have mercy on the elect brothers out there and the elect sisters that are among them. You know? So, um, yeah, this is another one right here from, a, from another woman. God, please intervene swiftly. Well, the, it, the Lord is doing it. <laughs> that is, the Lord is intervening. That, he's the one that did it. He did that. All right? He did that, man. Okay, the Lord did that. Yahweh Shmi Al Shai, He's the one that did that. Now let me let me read it, man, because see, people don't understand the judgment of Yahweh Shmi Al Shai. They don't understand that He's the one that orchestrated all this thing. Like it's saying, uh, what is it? First Samuel's. Let me get that real quick. This is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So the Lord did that. The Lord killed that man, you know, face down, freezing to death in the snow. 
The Lord buried buffalo in all that snow. The Lord got these people in that position where they at. You know, suffering. And like I said, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing compared to the judgment that's ultimately coming. And I pray that the Lord have mercy on me and my household when that time comes, as well as the, the, the brothers out there, the hopeful elect, and your household when that time comes. You know, because it's going to get that bad. It says, God, please intervene swiftly. Let the sun shine bright in the morning and melt enough snow for rescue to get to these people. You know, Lord willing not. All right, Lord willing not. Lord, please continue to bring swift judgment. <laughs> you know, Lord willing, for real, Lord willing. You know, like like one like one of the elder bros out there in Cali, Tazadak, has said, if you're watching this video, Shalom, he has said, um, Lord Bubba Kasha, Lord, bring this to the West Coast. And I, I agree, brother. <laughs> You know, bring that judgment over there to the West Coast, but the West Coast is gonna get, you know, the Lord's gonna judge everywhere, man. You know, I get what the bro I get what the elder bro was saying, man. You know, uh, ethnic cleansing, the ethnic purge needs to go down. And it will. So well, you know, what Jer what Jeremiah said, man, pray not for these people, bro. He said, pray not for these people, neither lift up a cry. Let me get that real quick. Jeremiah 7 and 16, it says, let me see, let me start 13, and now because ye have done all these works, save the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not, and I called you, but ye answered not, therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, Yashar Allah, he prince power, the Israelites, wherein ye trust and unto the place which I gave you and your fathers, and I have done to Shiloh, I will cast you out of my sight, and as and as excuse me, as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore pray thou not, or therefore pray not thou for this people. Pray to, pray not thou for this people. I'm not praying for them people over there on that comment board, on that on that Instagram. I pray for the Akim out there, the elect. You know, and if, if there be any few sincere sisters up in there, you know, Lord, Lord have mercy on y'all. Bubba Kasha, you know what I mean? But for these people out there pleading to Jesus Christ for help and going through it, that's on them. That's on them. These are the same people that cursed us out, you know, gave us all hell on the streets, you know, hated the prophets, hate the fact that the Lord, we say the Lord is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. And so is his father, the so-called dark-skinned man as well. They hate that. They hate that we call they that we say that there is like they hate that we say that they're gonna have Edomites and slavery. They hate that. So it is what it is. It says, neither lift up cry nor pray for them. Neither make intercession to me, for I would not hear thee. So we we can't pray for these people. The Lord ain't gonna hear you. Oh, he's gonna hear us. So it says, You are the preserver of life, and he's also the taker of life. I just read it in First Samuel, the second chapter. In Jesus' name, well, who's Jesus? Praying to the wrong God. Israelite, Jake. So, hey, it is what it is. Let me see. Need a trigger warning for the deceased person. Seven hours ago, my co-worker is with the National Guard and said as of tonight, they have been activated and she is on her way to Buffalo to help. God bless. A lot of prayers for the families involved. Scripture say, pray not for these people. It is what it is. Pray for the elect. And that is that's, it's as cold as it may sound. That's how it is. That's how it got to be. You know, so, don't, you know, if it don't, don't come in a common boy saying I pray for these people. No, the Lord ain't going to hear that prayer. You know, I mean, you got you eventually you have to gird up and be prepared to see a whole lot of death. This is what the apostles, the elder bishops, have been speaking and preparing brothers to see. You know, preparing us to see, and we've been preaching it under their banner, under the banner of Yahweh Hashem Yashah, under the apostles. You know, and we telling you, people out there, you know, the believers, prepare, prepare to see a lot of people die. All right, this ain't nothing. Judgment is coming. 
You know, you can't skip over the judgment part and just expect to be delivered. Nope. Judgment got to happen first. Um, prayer for protection and safety and comfort in Jesus name. Not going to happen. News outlets are not doing this blizzard any justice. They are not reporting to the world what we are experiencing here in Buffalo. Because most, mostly Jacob in Buffalo. And I got family up in Buffalo too. I got um, um, my aunt, my father's sister, and some cousins up there. I don't know what's going on with them. You know, I really don't even care either. But, you know, not in a, not in a bad, disrespectful way. But it is what it is, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. If I hear something, I hear something. If I don't, I don't. It says there should be national coverage regarding this. How do they inform us of stuff overseas but neglect to continuously tell us about what going on right here? Keep all involved safe. Because they don't care about Jake. It's mostly Jake. This is horrific. The lake, the lake effect snow is serious. I went to college in Syracuse and the snow will pile up rapidly and the wind chill would just measure sometimes a negative 20. It seemed like the weather is just getting worse. And you know what, too? Um, which we do know, we know this, that Esau has total, you know, he has the power, the Lord gave him the power to manipulate, you know, the weather. We know that, you know, that's one of the first things among, um, among many other that, you know, caught my attention when I first came into the truth was the whole HAARP, you know, program and all that, you know, cause that was a heavy thing to find out that damn, really? Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of wicked to the point where this man even have the power that the Lord gave him to control, you know, the weather, you know, weather warfare. I'm going to read a few more and then I'm going to go to my last precept or last couple precepts and that'll be that. This is so sad. And it's a lot of, it's mostly a lot of women complaining and crying and sad and, you know, men are, men are logically saying, men, if you read the comment, men are logically saying, man, y'all should have some blankets in the car. You should lay her up. You shouldn't leave the house. That's what the men are saying. But then the women are sad. They, you know, they're all fucking sad and shit. Like sadness is not going to get you out of. Your problems, all right, in case you didn't realize, you know, I'm just speaking out loud, but sadness ain't going to feel sad and, and, and that's not going to help your situation. That's why a lot of these single women out there are going to need a man to logically put things together, you know, to logically make sense out of a situation, out of a bad situation, you know, real talk. That's real talk. And I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that through the spirit, bro, you know. It says, this is so sad. It's times like these I wish I could physically save people. Oh my God. OMG, I didn't even know this was going on. Oh, oh, going on, my God. Oh my God, look like that movie The Day After Tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's the movie. That's the movie right there. Yup, I said 2012, but she right right here. It was The Day After Tomorrow. The scene where the dude was laid out on the ground upside down, like I said earlier. It was The Day After Tomorrow. And it does look like that. But the government had money sent to other countries and help, praying for everyone affected, da 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 da. Mm. So many people are so many people unprepared. All we've been caring about is the latest NBA NFL. Kardashians instead of going to see this, this is a logical individual. I'm sure that's a man. Can't be though. It says, imagine if the power went out everywhere for months. Who's gonna survive? Nobody. You know, except for the elect. And that's why the Lord said it back then. You know, and um, during the 70 AD, that pray that pray that your flight be not in winter, because that's the worst time to experience having to leave your house and flee, you know, from dangers. Well, imagine if it did happen in these times, how much more worse will it be? Okay. The day after tomorrow, another another chick said it. That's the movie, literally. Yup. There is. This blizzard was different.
Oh my God, Lord, I ask that you protect them. This is crazy and sad. Why would someone record a deceased person like that? Oh, yep, that's what social media does. And it should put fear in your heart. Because now you see what... That's one thing about having camera phones now. And that you, first you heard about it, you know, but now you can actually see. And it should put fear in your heart. So when all these people record certain situations and dangers, that's to, that's to really to put fear in your heart, if you got sense. Day after tomorrow, that I was... She's been stuck at work for days. She's stuck at work for days. This guy blaming it on Republicans. He don't know what's going on. He don't know what the hell is going on, this dude. This person is thinking, you know, to an extent, please start preparing your homes for any disaster you can think of. Start small by buying extra batteries, extra flashlight, candles, small portable cooking stove, portable, etc., etc. It'll help to an extent. But um, that's about it. I ain't even gonna read no more. This person, who told you to live up there? <laughs> oh, man. Yep, uh, everybody wanna talk about Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, pay attention. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. It's deeper than just the weather. You know, where's Biden at? Help like you did Russia. Hey, you know what, man? <clears throat> Scriptures say woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know, but they look not to the Holy One of Israel. Let me read this real quick. Job four and seven. Remember I pray thee, who ever perished being innocent? Or where were the righteous cut off? Nobody perishes being innocent. Not a single soul. We're, we're all guilty of something that we did in the past. But Abarat is our Lord willing. If Yahweh Shah, his blood covers us, Lord willing, as part of the hopeful elect, then brothers, you know, the elect, your, your sins are covered. You know, your sins are covered. The sins of the elect is covered through Yahweh Shah. You know, and then ultimately all Israel is going to be saved in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, in the kingdom of heaven. You know, but for now... Judgment is coming down on the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, those that are not part of the elect. So remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Nobody, nobody dies being innocent, you know? You did something, you got to pay for it. That's just how it would go. So when these people just die in the snowstorm and the blizzard, just laid out, going to the store, you know, whatever, coming back to, you know, whatever they do, went to the store to do, they weren't innocent. You know, they weren't innocent. And we understand judgment. We understand judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? We we know that how it go. Which puts us in fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And and desperate for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, we're desperate. Like she hashtag desperate that one on one woman. Well, you know what? We're desperate to be saved. We're prisoners of hope, like the scriptures call us. Even as I've seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. All right, point blank, period. This is Proverbs chapter 1, and like I said earlier, Proverbs, the first chapter, is coming to pass. You know, this is 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. There's a buffalo camp right up there. You know, how many of them people walk by and seen the GMS buffalo camp teaching and preaching, and they ain't do nothing, they ain't stop, listen, take heed, learn the names, took down the YouTube page to learn more. They just went around, went about their business, doing what? Two thirds do whatever, you know. They ignored the prophets. They rather hear sweet, smooth things. So what can we can you do? It says she cried in the chief the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered her words, saying, "How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity?" Right, Christmas, so called Christmas. Here it is, you know. Every time we tell these people about these pagan holidays and how it's not biblical, and show them in the scriptures. But they still love it. They don't want to hear it. They, they literally love that Christmas demon. You know, when you hear the jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell song and all that bullshit. They, they, that put them in a demonic spirit of joy. You know, like, a, like, a, like uh, some brainwashing shit. Them demons put them in that spirit to feel jolly for no reason. You know? They want to go home, 
decorate their house, set up that Christmas tree, tree like it tell you in the, the book of Jeremiah. You know, deck that Christmas tree. You know, deck it with gold, fasten it. You know, set up decorations in the house. All that bullshit. Put on some Christmas music, put on some Christmas carols. You know, put on some Christmas movies, put on Christmas story. And go, you know, and you know, but the Lord is taking all that shit away. All that. So they love simplicity. They love being simple. And then when you come with the truth and tell them about the, the origins of Christmas and this and that, you know, they look at you like you the devil trying to steal their joy. So it is what it is. And scorn is delight in their scorn and fools hate knowledge. They hate knowledge. So it says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right. And that's what the Lord is doing. You know, while we still can, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, we're stretching out our hand. The Lord is calling, but he's using his prophets. So by the Lord stretching out his hand, that's his prophets speaking unto you. Okay? From the apostles on down, they're speaking unto you. Standing on the street corner, speaking unto you. Going live on a, on a, on a, on a, on a YouTube, speaking unto you. And then this guy's on the comment board, not turning out the reproof. So when people get judged... For being a damn scoffer and a mocker, bro. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. It is what it is. You know, that's the judgment of the Lord. Niggas think it's funny until it ain't funny anymore. So it is what it is, man. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Scripture said, a wise, a, a wise, prudent man foresee the evil and hide himself. So, you know, the closer and closer we get to these evil days is the more and more the, war, the Lord is going to just, just withhold his word. And these people ain't going to get it. They ain't going to get it. The only ones that are going to be protected are the ones that truly believed in the names Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shad. People going to see that. That these men are guarded. They're protected. You know, and they're going to try to cleave unto a man, a man of the Lord. You know, not just women, even men are going to try to be under your cover, under your coverage. You're like, damn, yo, bro, can you, you look out for me, bro? Yo, bro, yo, bro, you know, yo, bro, can I roll with you, bro? But the Lord's going to get that spirit of discernment that who's a nigga and who's not. You know, who's a nigga bitch and who's not. You know, who's righteous. You know, who's sincere and who's not. There ain't going to be no deception in that time. All right. So it said, because, because I've called and you refuse, I've stretched out my hand and no man regard it. But you have said that not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. They ain't want to hear none of the reproof. So what's going to happen? I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. That's how cold that's how cold is gonna get. That's how cold is gonna get. People are gonna be dying of some crazy, grievous deaths. And then you're gonna have men of the Lord laughing. And it's okay to laugh. You know, it's okay to laugh. You know, with proper understanding that, you know, this is judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, may the Lord have mercy on me. But the Lord, it's the Lord, Lord said, I will laugh at your calamity. Just like how he's speaking to these people by using the prophets. He's going to laugh at these people by using the prophets. You know? So I will mock when your fear cometh. You know? Good for these people. Good for them. You know, good for them. And at the same time, may Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Baba Kashah have mercy on his hope, on the hopeful elect. Those that are serving the Lord, fearing the Lord, and do, doing the damn best you can for mercy's sake, man. You know, sacrifice your lives, sacrifice your family, sacrifice these pagan ass, wicked ass holidays, sacrifice everything to serve the Lord. Lord have mercy on us, man. It says, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. That's when they're going to want to call on the Lord. That's when they're going to try to seek the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you know. Trying to get right when it's too late. When it's too late. There is such thing as too late, man. For they for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. And that's the that's the problem. Jake don't fear the Lord. They don't want to fear the Lord. They're more they're comfortable with, with, with Caesar Borgia. They're comfortable with the white image, the so-called white image of the Lord. They're comfortable with that. That makes them feel 
tingly inside. They feel butterflies and, 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 and goodness inside, you know, which is them demons. But when you come to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man, it puts you in check. It, it put, put fear in your heart. Now you see the errors of your ways and the whole Bible cuts you. And you, and you know, you got to repent. You got it everywhere, everything that come out. The scriptures call this, a, this Bible says a two-edged sword. The scriptures is a two-edged sword. It cuts you. You know, but these people don't want to get cut. They don't want to hear they, about themselves. They don't want to hear about themselves. That's that pride. That's why the scriptures say pride go before destruction. And the Holy Spirit before fall. So that they about to suffer because of that pride. So they were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. They, they, they despise the word of the Lord. So it says, Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Whosoever hearken unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah shall dwell safely. All right, and shall be quiet, meaning good, from the fear of all evil, you know, and that's what the scriptures say, and believe it, because the scriptures say it's the word of the Lord, you know, so these things that happen, or that's happening, is judgment from Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, man, point blank period, no ifs, ands, or buts, you know. I'm going to read a couple more and I'm going to close out. Pretty Juicy says, oh my God, OMG, tears in my eyes. Wow, unbelievable. I can't believe things like this is still happening now in America. This, you ain't seen nothing yet. You did not see nothing yet. And that's what we're trying to tell you. That's what we are telling you through the spirit and power. That's what the Lord is telling you. That y'all ain't seen nothing yet. This ain't nothing. The whole Babylon the Great is about to feel it, man. Babylon the Great. Imagine now... You think a little snowstorm is a blizzard is a problem? Wait till there's no food. Wait till there's no food. That's when that's when shit gonna turn up. When these people can't eat. When they can't eat. That's when shit gonna really, really, really turn up. These people are so used to getting food at any any minute. They could go to a fast food restaurant, fast food joint, three o'clock in the morning. Let me go get some fries and some chicken. You know? Let me go to the liquor store and get a bottle. Or let, let me go down, let me go in, let me go in the fridge and, you know, get something to eat. I'm hungry. Let me go in the cabinet. Let me go in the pantry. All that shit is coming to an end. That's when people are really going to be in tears. When they realize that they fucked. All right? There's going to come a point where people are going to get smacked with reality when they realize that there's a fa that famine was happening under their noses. A famine is happening under these people's noses, bro. Okay? A global famine have been happening under these people's noses. 2020, 2022, this year is almost up. We are in what? Uh, December the 25th. Uh, what? Seven more days and we're in the New Year's? This whole year has been a year of famine. You know? Even even a year prior, 2021. Famine. 2020, famine. So now, how, how much more longer before the effects of destroying the food industry... The food uh, uh, resources and all that. The farmers, the crops and this and that and that and this. Euthanizing animals. How long before the effects of these things that's been happening manifest? How long? It ain't going to be that long. Okay? It ain't going to be that long. These devils have sped things up. Because they know that they got a short time. So once 2020, hit, uh, 2020, 2019, the end hit. They was like, nah, we're going we gonna to accelerate this thing. And this is going to accelerate and accelerate and accelerate. Just like a, a snowball effect. It starts out small. And then once it starts rolling, it starts to grow and grow and grow. Well, this, is this snowball effect is going to continue to grow. And America is done. America is effing done. All right. So she said, this is the only country I ever see do so much for others, but never help or fix their own problems within the USA. Well, that's the Lord. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. All right? It made all the nations drunk. Like, why do you think Babylon is so occupied with other nations? To get their ass drunk. You know, at the same time, getting your ass drunk. You know? And then when the time is right, take advantage of your ass. 
Lord, please cover all these people in need. I never understood about the weather. Uh, whatever, whatever. I read that. More Jesus Christ. Um, Becheca B. OMG, this is so sad. God be with these people. Tears just falling down. My face, I wish I could do something. Man, listen. They ain't seen nothing yet. Lord God, please. Hey, I'm just having fun with this, man. I'm reading some of these things before I wrap it up, man. Why not? It says, Lord God, please be with all these families being affected by this winter storm. And for anybody that's part of the elect out there, may the Lord have mercy on them that's going through it. May the Lord deliver them out of their situation. You know? Oh, let me see what this person say. Sock grip. All you black people talking about prayer, Jesus, and anything to do with religion, y'all are still lost. For the most part, yes, absolutely. I need to I need y'all to know to excuse me, I need y'all to walk into some common sense. If you really believe if y'all he God created this type of weather, then he God did this purposely. Absolutely. Why would he God listen to your prayers after he God created this mess? Yo, he's right. I mean, I can't, I ain't knocking him. He's right about that. I read that. The Lord did this. Prayer is a person's way of just saying they're lazy. Not not really. But who are you praying to? Now, not at all. You got to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But they're praying to so called Jesus. So they're in the wrong for that. You know, so this person don't really know. He don't got the 100% truth. So you don't think the people who are in this mess literally scared for their life is just praying right now? That's true too. Other than that, when do how often do they pray? Grow up, people, and it's you. It's so called he God birthday today, correct? Even though that's never been proven, but hey, well, he's actually right, you know. So the same fake God that they calling on, you know, hey, let them, let them. The scripture said, let your gods that you called on deliver you. That's what the scripture say. Let your false gods deliver you from your trouble. Somebody could post that, you know. So yeah, man. I mean. <laughs> That's about it. I could read. I could read for days, you know. But that's all I'm gonna read on that. You know. That's all I'm gonna read on that. Let me scroll back to the top and see something. So anyway, man. You know. I'm going to end it here. I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Dash. You know, Lord Willness is an edifying lesson. And fear the Lord, man. Fear Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Fear him. Fear the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son because great judgment is about to come down on this earth. All right. We just seen a tiny little glimpse, not even the tip of the iceberg on the type of judgment that's getting ready to come down. So with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Dash, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom.